guys, what's up? It's your boy Knock Reviews, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get an iOS 7 look for your um, Galaxy S3 or any other Android device you may have. So let me just do this quickly. So like, comment down below, and subscribe. Let's get us to 300 subscribers. I really want that. Thank you. Anyway, um, this is what it looks like. So I have the basic iOS 7 look for your home screen and for the locker. I've also downloaded an extra wallpaper for the home screen so that I have a parallax effect. So go to Play Store and you're going to get three apps, okay? You don't need to root your phone by the way. No routing required. Um, everything is straight up. Okay, so this is a control panel. Let me show you the control panel. Okay, so the iOS 7 comes with a control panel like this. So this is what it is and you're going to need to download iOS 7 quick control in order to get that. Okay, so if you want to get a control panel, you're going to download that and when you open it, you'll get to start your service, blah blah blah, all that. Click arrow to expand and then you can also choose the width of where you want the arrow to affect as sometimes if you put it on full width, it does block out all your um, keyboard, keypad so if you want to stop that you will adjust it I don't know if you can see that just experiment with this okay experiment with it I don't want to talk about this for too long you're then gonna search up SBS studio because they publish the rest of the stuff we're gonna need and the first thing you're gonna get is SBS screen locker iOS 7 now this will give you the screen locker that you need okay so this will give you the screen locker on itself and you guys can adjust it so once you download just click open and then you'll be able to first of all enable it and then you can choose whether or not you want to have a pass lock, passcode lock on it I'd put that on obviously don't use the camera because what the camera is it is a bit glitchy and it is stupid um, because you could easily bypass it the lock just by opening the camera and clicking back because it doesn't take you back to the pass code lock it actually takes you back into the phone so you don't want to do that okay but then you're then gonna get SBA launcher iOS 7 now this is the basic thing that will give you everything you need except the parallax effect okay so this will give you um, the whole theme open it up sorry I'm looking through a camera right now so it is really weird Okay, so when you open that, it will ask you for validation. Just click OK and it will validate that um, the version is real as they don't want people using a fake version of their app. But if you pull up the screen like this, you can sort of get a little um, dashboard there like you do on Apple phones and you can close stuff. But then if you slide from the middle where you've set the bar to be, you get the control panel. Now, if you want to get the parallax effect, you're going to search up for, um, I, I know a lot of people are going to want to see how to get the parallax, so you search up iOS 7 wallpaper, yeah, and you're going to get this one, the iOS 7 live wallpaper 3D. Now that will give you a parallax effect, um, I've installed it and it's currently being used, so you literally go to settings my wallpaper change it and it should have wait let me just go to settings right now I don't want to make the video really long guys I don't like having long videos anymore but if you really want to know how I do this I'll show you go to display wallpaper um, home screen at uh, home screen okay um, then you go to live wallpaper and there it is so if you have installed it properly it will come up and then you can change the settings how you want it to be do you want it to be parallax so I don't, I don't know if you can see that you can also pop the bubbles when you first install it it does come with this weird glittery thing it comes with this and that is really irritating for me okay that really pissed me off but I straight away knew that I could change the settings just turn that off and you won't get that you could upgrade to the pro version if you want to but I didn't want to do that either but tilt parallax settings um you change them there so do you want to enable it I like it I think it's cool so I enabled it but that's mostly it guys um, not to make things too long for you guys you set the wallpaper okay so you're only gonna get it for the home screen I don't think it works for your home wallpaper 
No, it doesn't. Yeah. So the the parallax effect only works for the um, home screen. But anyway, that's mostly it, guys. Again, if we want to look at everything, you can cycle and lock. You get the password. Uh, lock. You have that. Okay, and now you have this, the control panel, slide, and it actually does work, it is a functional one, you have a torch, I don't know if you can see that, turn on the torch, um, you have a calculator, you can also actually adjust what you want to be here, so, I've actually added on the music thing, and that's why it looks weird, but if you press for a long time, you can add what you want to be there, so, let's add the camera, okay, now when we slide up, should have a camera there see that so that's how you do this guys anyway if you did enjoy this video hopefully it was informative to you guys if you did enjoy it please remember to like com comment down below and subscribe if you didn't still remember to like comment down below and subscribe because anyway it was quite a good tutorial and i think this is a really awesome add-on so um do check these out do do this stuff and enjoy yourselves this is youtube it was your boy enoch reviews